All right, here we go. Saturday morning, early morning tea capping here. It's fucking like 8.30. <laughs> we're doing this, man. Um, <laughs> this is actually what I've been looking forward to a little bit here. It's Gerald White. Um, as everyone knows, the fetish guy with the boots. <laughs> One of the biggest m messes of a person that ever showed up on this on this show. It's fucking it's fucking so great. <clears throat> but yeah, it's fucking freezing out, man. It is like thirty degrees out. It's in May. It's like a record. We're, we're approaching like record low territory here in New York. So fuck, I can't I can't go outside. Like last week, it was like seventy degrees, man. It was fucking perfect. But now it's thirty five. So that's always great. Um, so I got nothing really else to do. So I might as well start off my day with some uh, tea cap, and here we go, Gerald White. Um, yeah, the sweatpants predator, that's what I call him, the sweatpants predator. He shows up, polo shirt tucked into his sweat, half tucked into his sweatpants, as we'll see here. So let's just get into it. It's a pretty short segment, but it is a fucking classic, man. It is one of the classics. Let's go. Now this is the fetish guy with the food. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the house. <laughs> oh, right away, you get a great segment. This is the fetish guy with the boots. That's just great, you know. Fuck his actual name. <laughs> Fuck his actual name, Gerald White. Now nah, we don't have to call him that, you know. This is this, this is the fetish guy with the boots. That's his name. Just everyone call him that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a great start to the fucking day here, you know. I recommend everybody start their day with a hearty breakfast and a, and a helping of tea cap on the side, man. This is fucking great. Oh, man. And just look at this car, man. I mean, I don't want to, you know, rip on somebody if they don't have a lot of money or if they can't afford a great car. But, man, this thing is the definition of a beater, man. The definition of a piece of shit. Um... And it's odd, too, because from what everything I've seen, Gerald White had a kind of a rich father. I don't know if rich is the right word. Wealthy. I don't think his father was very, was, was poor, but I guess Gerald's like 40-something at this point, right? Does it say his age anywhere here? Uh, does it say his age here anywhere? Maybe it'll say ASL. I don't know how old he was here. Whoa, what the fuck happened to you? You do not look like this anymore, Gerald. <laughs> Holy shit. And this guy's also dead. Okay, so he says he's 31, but up here it says he's 35, so I'm just going to assume that he's lying right there, so that he's actually 35. So that picture must be really fucking old, man. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that picture before. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so 35, so he really shouldn't be relying on his uh, parents anymore, right? But his father tried so hard to... Uh, to fight his legal battles for him. So I assume they must have had enough money to get like a, a lawyer, you know, a decent enough lawyer and pay that lawyer for like three years, however long it was. And this guy's dead too. Uh, so a little bit of a <laughs> rest in peace. He's in the big boot store in the sky now. Um, as he is, uh, he's dead. He popped pills. He tried actually to pop pills and kill himself before he went to prison, but it didn't work. He failed. And then, um, right before he got released from prison, he got cancer. And I think the Georgia, in Georgia, they let him out early when they found out he had cancer, just so it wouldn't be, like, uh, they wouldn't have to pay for his treatment or whatever. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but, I mean, so they released him on his own, and he fucking technically died a free man, I guess, but, yeah, it's pretty rough. That's pretty rough shit. Gerald White. I mean, you gotta... I would love to know some backstory, some further backstory on him, you know? He's not... Uh, I don't have much backstory about him, but, you know, it, it would be interesting to fucking uh, learn kind of how he got this way, man, with the, with the boot fetish and everything. Let's go. Now's Amanda, our decoy, is in place, ready to invite our next guest inside. All right, Amanda, this guy should be bringing riding boots for you to wear. <laughs> Using the screen name Gerald White 30627, this 31 year old starts chatting with a girl posing as a 15 year old. And even in that picture, man, he looks a lot different than how he actually looks, man. He's just using old pictures <laughs> to paint him in a more flattering light. He says he's 31 in the chat log, right? We just saw that. So maybe he's using pictures that are from when he was 31. Maybe he looked a lot, maybe it was a rough four years for, uh, 
for Gerald White in between. He asks the oh. decoy if she wears boots. The girl responds, I wish I had some tall ones. <laughs> then Gerald White 30627 says, perhaps we could go boot shopping. Oh, no. The decoy types, wow, you mean for like the big ones? Then he cuts to the chase and says, I'm not going to avoid the subject. I would like to make love to you after we are done boot shopping. <laughs> I have a serious fetish for boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fucking good. Oh my god, I fucking love it. I <laughs> oh my god, it's like, you know, I'm not gonna judge somebody for having a boot fetish. I mean, it's weird, but fucking hell. There was a guy on this show fucking who wanted to cut and suck on the blood. You know, it, it, it's not the weirdest fucking fetish. There's a guy, there are guys that want to be shit on that showed up on this show. It's not the weirdest fetish, but it is a fucking strange one, too. Oh, man, it's fucking great, though. I love it, though. It's like, I'm not going to avoid the subject. I would like to make love to you after we are done boot shopping. Oh, it's fucking so great. <laughs> Gerald White oh, no. Gerald, he's going to bring no. her a what pair of boots. What is this fashion sense, Gerald? No. <laughs> he's got it kind of half down, right? He's wearing something kind of formal. I don't think it is formal. On his, uh... Oh, I hear an airplane outside right now. I don't know if the mic will pick that up, but it's pretty low, I think. That's pretty cool. But yes, Gerald's got it like kind of half down. He's wearing a semi-formal polo shirt. I mean, it's a, it looks horrible, too. I mean, it just absolutely looks horrible, though. That shirt, don't ever burn that shirt, man. I can't tell. Is that just a shirt that, um, is that like an undershirt right there? That little bit of white, or is that the white on the bottom? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he's got... It's <laughs> got it kind of down, but don't don't ever wear polo shirt and a uh, and sweatpants. <laughs> but if you are gonna wear a polo shirt and sweatpants, fucking make sure you tuck in your shirt all the way. <laughs> this whole boy looks like he just got out of bed, man. He's just fucking ah shit. I gotta pull up my shirt right now. Oh, I'm gonna get tucked in halfway. It looks fine. It looks fine, man. But how do you show up for a date, man? I mean, I for think boots. it's. Gerald White uh, later tells the decoy he's going. <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I think it, it. You know, I. I. I don't know. I don't want to just say, oh, it's. It's because he's from the south. Because it's not because he's from the south. But I think a lot of these guys from Georgia were from the real bowels of of Georgia. And so I think you would see this pretty much in any state where there's like. You know, there's that one area of the state where it's like, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> and so it's possible that Gerald is from that area. So, um, yeah, who the fuck knows? I mean, you can't, uh, does it say where the fuck he's from? Carlton, Georgia? Where the fuck is Carlton, Georgia? Carlton. <laughs> Do the Carlton. Uh, Madison County. It looks like it's a fucking box. It looks like a box. What, what is that shit called? Biodome? Geodome? Whatever the fuck it is. 233 at the 2000 census. Um, do they even have images of this place? Is this, is this the downtown area? This one fucking, like, board of wood. It looks like an old saloon from, or like the old, um, Wild West shit, you know? Where it's got, like, all the buildings are right on top of each other. Like, this is the saloon, this is the the general store. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Looks like this place is, is pretty miserable. How far is it from Atlanta? It's kind of, not really that close to Atlanta, but northern Georgia, right? Yeah, I mean, it kind of it looks like where I would expect uh, Gerald White to live. Let's continue going to bring her a pair of boots but as he comes in the house he's not carrying any Come on, Good. Good. I just gotta get these clothes out so they don't wrinkle uh, uh. Did you bring the right <laughs> boots? <laughs> that is so great I love that man this guy's got zero personality outside of his boot fetish he might be the most uh, um, 
uninteresting person in the world, man. <laughs> Comes in, no, hey, how I doing? Hey, girl, nothing like that. This guy just goes, yeah. Oh, that's so great, man. What is this guy thinking, man? This guy is out of his league, man. This guy is just out of his element. <laughs> Good. I just gotta get these clothes out so they don't wrinkle. Uh, uh. And he wanted to have like a whole shopping date, man. This guy can't even speak English. <laughs> what, were, what were they gonna talk about, really? This guy comes to his first word out of his mouth is Gah. The second word out of his mouth is Ugh. Is that just gonna be the whole conversation, the whole car ride to the nearest outlet mall or whatever? Just gonna be like Gah. Ugh. Boots! Ah, uh, ah, uh, boots! <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love it. Did you bring the riding boots? Yes. All they right. out in the car. They out in the car. I can't wait to get my own pair. And that's incredible, man, because he's, I think he showed up for a black, uh, a black female. Quite a few of the Georgia Predators did, actually. I know Jim Klein did the same. Um, but, um... Me plans to look at a 15 year old all over. <laughs> um, so it, it just kind of thought that this tiny uh, African American girl and this fucking huge bloke, I mean, look at how fucking big this guy is, man. That is, oh, not a pretty picture. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he just thought that they would go shopping. The world's most, uh, complete opposite of a couple, right? <laughs> and no one would ask questions or look at them funny or anything like that. Gerald didn't think anything out. Because <laughs> he can't think, that's why. <laughs> so you have a little shopping, uh, oh, day plan this no. afternoon? Uh, yep. Yeah? And who are you taking shopping today? Um, uh, <laughs> Natasha. Natasha. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Gerald White. The last thing I think Gerald White was expecting was for somebody to pop out. <laughs> oh, he's completely taken back, man. <laughs> yep. You got a big shopping day plan, huh? Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> And who are you taking shopping today? Um, <laughs> Natasha. Natasha. Yes. And how did you meet Natasha? Met her online. Online. Yeah. And this guy talks like somebody I know too. I mean, I'm not gonna say who it is, but yeah, he talks exactly. He reminds me so much of how one a person I know, a friend of mine, not really a friend, talks. But um, <laughs> yeah, he reminds me very much so. But does that same? Uh, you know, I speak too slow. Good. Yes. And how old do you think Natasha is? I uh, have no idea. You have no idea? <laughs> no. We never discussed it. You never discussed it? Never discussed it, man. This guy's a fucking idiot, man. I think it says, they definitely say it right there. There you go. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's not in the first few lines here. Um... Where the fuck does the girl say that she's 15? Ah, there it is. I'm 15. Ugh. Fucking, uh... What, five minutes into the conversation, Gerald? <laughs> oh, we never discussed it. Oh, my God. My... <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking Amp Pumpker! We're making a fucking appearance here. Oh, shit, does that... I think this link still here works? I doubt it. Nah. It's not gonna work. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking Gerald. Uh, James Wilds makes a fucking cameo. That's great. Oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta read. I've read a few, a little bit of his chat. I haven't read the whole thing. I should probably do that someday. Um. <laughs> Alright, let's get up. Let's get back at it here. Refresh his memory. I read to him from his chat log. I'm 15. I'm, I'm, you don't have to go any further, I understand. <laughs> you talk about taking her out and buying her some boots. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> it's just, just shopping, period. Shopping. That's so it. you just found a... 
<laughs> so even Chris Hansen's getting into like, yo, you, yeah, like, yeah, you showed up to meet a 15 year old, but what I can't, what I'm uh, struggling to uh, understand here, help me to understand, is uh, what the fuck is this boot fetish that you have? I don't quite understand it. What are the, what is with these guys and their weird fetishes, you know? Yeah, but yeah, um, he, he's definitely, uh, definitely just completely like taken back by that you know even the perverted justice guys were like this is the finished guy with the boots and even chris hansen's like you're taking taking around buying her some boots what's up with that a 15 year old girl online decide you're gonna buy her a pair and of that's uh, leather boots so disrespectful. And you want her to wear 24 hours a day you say right that there. is so disrespectful by gerald way he turns around in the chair just shopping period. Shop. so you just found a 15 year old girl online decide you're gonna buy her a pair of first of all you, why do that in the first place but yeah it's so disrespectful turning your chair around with your back towards somebody who's speaking to you that's very disrespectful gerald did anyone teach you any manners or what and even you can see chris hansen when he sees it his back is he's turned and his back is facing him um you can see Chris Hansen's face. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Uh, uh, leather boots. Look at this right here. That you want her to wear 24 hours. Look at that face. Chris Hansen. <laughs> Chris Hansen's like, I've never, I have been in television for 24 years. I've never had somebody turn their back on me while I was talking to them. That is incredible. But yeah, I mean, that is, that is absolutely incredible. Gerald Boy, you are a disrespectful person. Disrespectful. Um... You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> More ashamed of that <laughs> than what he's actually, what he's actually here doing. <laughs> oh, let's continue. Oh, yeah, this is great. Right here. And he stands up. What was your plan here? Again, standing up again. This is disrespectful. Like, no, I don't want to have a seat. I've been watching fucking um, Richard Watler a lot recently. <clears throat> the guy from fucking Kentucky that Brett Favre look alike. And one of the funniest things uh, is that he says, I don't want to have a seat. I think that's such a great line. <laughs> and Gerald White does the same thing here. He's like, I don't want to have a seat. Stands up. And he puts his hand on his hip, hand on a table. Like, yeah, man, what's up? No, no plan whatsoever. No just plan whatsoever. Coming, just coming to talk and everything. <laughs> <laughs> As the 31 year old, oh my god, talk and everything. Oh my god, just look no at this guy. Just, just, just look at this rumor. guy. Just, what was your plan here today? No, no. Look at this guy, man. Oh my god. First of all, those sweatpants <clears throat> are really hiked up there too high, Gerald. I mean, come on, you're 30, 30, ah oh shit, was he 35 or 31? I'm getting the fake ages mixed up. 35 you know you don't have to you don't have to pull them up like you're 65 but man that shirt is god awful that is a god awful shirt i mean what people when people focus on the top uh predator worst predator fashion and they rightfully include gerald white in that they focus more on the tucked in half tucked in sweatpants right shirt into the sweatpants but this shirt is on its own god awful it looks like it's uh from the 70s man it's got this shirt's got to be at least 15 years old at this point probably the same age as the decoy oh no um horizontal stripes unflattering and then just it looks like it's looks like it's uh, two shirts in one here but then it's got the blue like tight mix which makes it tight around the arms like that i don't know how to describe it but <sighs> hopefully this shirt got burned and it can't haunt any anybody else <laughs> anymore no plan this whatsoever. Is, this, is, nope. this is just an absolutely great arrest. This is maybe the best arrest in all of TCAP, in my opinion. I think it's it's probably the best, in my opinion. Just plan whatsoever. Just coming to talk and everything. I, obviously, I mean... As the 31-year-old... He's, still, he's still just walking off. He's still just walking off, talking to himself. I'm just, I'm, no one can make out a word you're saying, dude. Coming to talk and everything. And he's still... He just, as he's walking out the door, he's still just rambling. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, as the <laughs> one-year-old heads for the door, oh, law enforcement moves into place, ready to take the man down as soon as he walks outside. Get on the ground! Now. Get out! Get out. <laughs> Police arrest him and lead him away, clearing the front of the house. So <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he looks so sad. Poor Gerald White. Oh, man. This is so great. And so many levels. There's so much that is great about this final few seconds here. Um, Play. Right away. To take the man down <laughs> as soon as he ah, walks outside. All right, but right away here. That's the same truck that Joseph Myrick, the, uh, the uh, obviously the, the truck driver predator, the uh, cocaine predator, drove. Um, Drove to the sting house. And it's just been sitting there. And again, nobody finds it weird that there's just a big truck <laughs> sitting in the driveway. Um, none of the predators find it weird. You can see the fucking truck in so many of these Georgia predators, you know, uh, footage. <laughs> nobody ever brings it up like, hey, that's kind of weird that there's a truck sitting there. But again, I might just be a George. I might be more acceptable in the South. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> but, and then this is just, this scream is so Get on the ground! Now! Get out! <laughs> that is a scream of somebody who knows that their life is over. <laughs> no, no, no! I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I, I can't even do it. But yeah, he's uh, he, that's just a scream, a hor a horrifying scream. You know, it sounds like you. If I told you, if you didn't know. <laughs> If you didn't know, and I just you were just you were just given the audio of that of that scream, you might think it might be somebody who is getting um, you know murdered or or somebody who's you know uh, in some serious danger, but no, it's actually the scream of a predator getting arrested on national television. Oh man, Gerald is not only heartbroken, I think, because this decoy wasn't real. And he was pretty, uh, not romantic. I don't think he can be romantic. Uh, Gerald White. I don't think he has that in him. But he was like, he sent, sent roses all the time in his chat log. Like, all the fucking time in that chat log. It's just rose, rose. He's like a regular Lord Armstrong in terms of roses. Um, <laughs> but uh, he also, he's also heartbroken. So he had, he's partially heartbroken that his boot fetish fantasy wasn't going to come to light here today. Is also heartbroken because he's getting arrested and he's going to go to prison. <laughs> oh! Police arrest so him and lead him away, clearing the front of the oh, house so man, more suspects are free shot. to come in. That is scary. That is a scary sight. But yeah, that's it, Gerald White, man. And lead him away. Let's just listen to it one more time. This is giving me so much, to take so much uh, pleasure this has given me over the years. The man down as soon as he walks outside. Get on the ground now! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Police arrest him and lead him away. Oh, it's clearing... so great. Oh, it's so great. Gerald White. What a guy. What a predator, man. <laughs> he's definitely not top tier, but he, he's, he's a pretty good predator. All right. That should do it, though. Uh, Gerald White, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, until next time, see y'all later.